Okay, now the fence posts are dry and I'm going to take that same green with some yellow and come back in and squash on the bottom part of the foliage. And then add just my little base of dark down there at the bottom. Now that'll have to have a couple minutes to dry, but hopefully while it's drying, I'm going to take this Tenot liner. This is my old faithful one. I did buy a new one, but I haven't used it but a few times. I'm still trying to force this one to produce all the little skinny line work that it can. And you thin your paint down to like an ink-like consistency. And give my eyes time to focus each time I do a little line. And we will draw in the fence wires. All I'm doing each time is just picking up some more of the, the thinned black paint just so there's enough each time on the brush to make the stroke I'm wanting to make. So there's the little fence wires. And I don't worry about trying to highlight the fence wires because they're so thin and this piece is so small anyway, it's not that big a deal. If it was a larger piece, I would go back and I would put a thin coat of white to highlight the, the fence wires. And I should have done my little clouds before I did my trees. But on this particular piece, it doesn't matter because I knew where my treetops were going to be. So I'm just going to, with that same side-loaded float of color and some white, I'm going to just give some clouds to the sky area. And a lot of this is mostly just visual effect because it's kind of folk artsy style painting, so I'm not out to reproduce an actual painting or anything like that. These things just come right out of my head. Now, where's my little brush? Okay, same little small brush. And we're going to take some red on one side and white on the other. And we are going to apply our little flowers. And this is just the sweetest and easiest little garden you will ever grow for flowers. But they are so much fun to do. If I can get my purple paint to work with me here. I was going to try to do a few purple ones. It's from a very old bottle of dioxine purple. And it's not in the best shape, but I try to get all I can get out of it. Okay, we'll add a few of them right here in the center. And then we're going to take the same blue that I used in the sky, which is cobalt. But instead of mixing it with white to make the light blue sky, we're going to just brush mix it on the end of the brush and then just add some little blue flowers just to bring some of that sky color down into the painting and that pretty much is it that's a finished little barn scene on a rock